Disneyland is probably one of the most photographed places in the world. I am there probably once a week. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I take a ton of photos inside Disneyland, but I have like hundreds, probably thousands of photos that you don't see on Instagram because I love spending my time at Disneyland and making memories with all of my friends. And I usually default to my phone because I'm always gonna have it with me. It's easy, it does take a nice photo, but there are a lot of cases where I want something better. And I come from a photography background I used to shoot on this giant DSLR, like this was my go-to camera for years, but this is something I'm obviously not gonna lug around in the park. For the past few months, I've been shooting on this guy. This is the Olympus Pin EPL9, and now it's my go-to camera for Disneyland. It takes an amazing photo, and it's kind of this hybrid between an iPhone and a giant DSLR. Here's a few unedited side-by-side -side photos that I recently took inside Disneyland. One of them is taken on my iPhone and one of them is taken on the Olympus pin. You can tell the images are much more clear. There's a lot less noise. They're very sharp. I love the portrait mode on the iPhone, but it's not without its problems and it can also be pretty slow. But the Olympus takes amazing portrait photos instantly and it's gonna be right every time and you're not gonna have that weird edgy outline around your head. There's a lot of things that I love about this camera. First off, aesthetically, it just looks really cool and I know that's not a functionality and it's not necessarily a selling point to people, but I love how this camera looks. I love that it looks like an older film camera. It comes in a bunch of different colors. I got the navy one. I have taken this to the park and I've actually like worn it around my neck and it kind of like vibes with everything. It just makes me happy because it looks like an old camera and Disneyland is like the oldest Disney park. I don't know. It's also incredibly light and pretty small. It's obviously gonna be bigger than an iPhone and it's gonna be bigger than some other point and shoot cameras that are out there, but for a mirrorless camera, this is a really, really nice size. But of course, it's still gonna be smaller than a DSLR. However, you have all of the same controls with a DSLR with the Olympus pin. You have control over your shutter speed, your aperture, your white balance, a lot of things that you don't have direct control over your phone. It's also a lot more powerful than the iPhone's gonna be because you can change lenses on this guy which it doesn't really look like you can, but check it out. If you aren't super familiar with lenses and kind of how they impact your photos, lenses really dictate how your final image is gonna look because a lens will control how much light is let in. It's gonna control how blurry or not your background is gonna be like you see with a portrait mode. It's gonna control how far you can zoom in or zoom out, how much of the image you actually get in a frame. I have two lenses, they're pretty versatile. What's on my camera right now is a 14 to 42. That's a wide angle lens which if you don't know what a light angle lens is, it's gonna let you have more of the image in the actual frame. And the 14, which for starters, this touchscreen folds down, it like moves in all kinds of different directions, but the 14 is gonna let you actually get a pretty good selfie. It's gonna be wide enough, and it's pretty comparable to how wide it is on an iPhone. This little lens though is amazing. It is a 45 prime, which means it's a fixed lens, you're not gonna be able to zoom in or zoom out, but it's a one to 1.8, so it's gonna give you amazing portraits. Like it is that beautiful low depth of field where the background is blurry. If you're into photography, having lens options is pretty important, and these are really small and compact, so you can take all of the lenses with you and it's not gonna weigh you down. Just for example, this and this is the same type of lens for my DSLR versus for the Olympus, and you can see how much smaller this little guy is. My favorite feature though, by far, is that I can connect my Olympus to my phone and download my pictures immediately. It is so handy because I'm not having to go home, take the memory card out, put it in my computer, and then send them over to my phone. I can just take them directly off of that and I'll show you guys how that works. Right now my camera's on, my phone is screen recording. You're just gonna hit menu, connect to a device. You're gonna wanna connect to the EPL9 Wi-Fi. Once you're connected to the Wi-Fi, you're gonna open the Olympus app. <clears throat> and it's pretty cool. It's pretty quick, actually. So you can see down here at the bottom that it says it's connected to on, and we're gonna import photos. And this is gonna, <laughs> this picture I took last night of Andrew's really funny. So this is gonna connect to all of the photos that are on this memory card in here. I can pick a photo immediately and just click the share button here and import. And then that's done. 
So then I can turn the camera off or I can continue to import. And if you want to see a closer look, you can swipe through of all of the photos here. I have not looked at these images yet, so I don't know how, uh, how goofy or not I look in them, but look at this beautiful castle photo. So I can just import, done. Super easy, it just puts them on my camera roll. I can do whatever I want to with them. Very, very easy to do, very fast. You can do it on the go. It's really nice for when I'm in Disneyland, I can take a nicer photo on this, send it to my phone, run it through Lightroom, and post it straight away, which is great. And of course, it's got a ton of other features that make it great for the parks. It has self timers. It has a flash that's built in. I don't love a flash photo at night, but I love using the flash for like fill in. Like when you're taking photos in the fairy tale hall with the princesses and the light is so bad, it'll have a nice fill flash for that. Or when it's sunny out, like pro tip, use a flash when it's really sunny out and it'll take care of all the harsh shadows on the face. Very fast focusing, a silent shutter option. So if you are shooting like a parade or a show where things are moving quickly, but you also don't want the audio from your camera, like a big shutter sound or a beep to not interrupt the show, this will help take care of that. It shoots video, it even shoots in 4K and that articulated screen when it folds down all the way. This is a touch screen. So if you are wanting to vlog or anything, you can touch and make sure that you're in focus, which is great. But there's a very weird feature on this that I think is like incredibly helpful to use in the parks. And there is an option where you can have it take a photo whenever you just touch this screen. And I think we've all been in the same situation where we've had to ask randoms to take photos for us, like of all of our friends, and you give them a camera and they're like, I don't know what to do. So you can give them the camera and you can say like, just touch the screen and it'll take the photo, which is a very weird, very specific function that I think is really useful. At the end of the day, I truly think it's the perfect camera for Disneyland. It's lightweight, the photo quality is amazing. You can get the photos to your phone immediately. If you are more serious in a photography, the fact that you can change lenses is a huge selling point. And if you wanna get into photography, like what a great starter camera it is. Two steps up from a phone, but you can get all the functionality of a DSLR without like having to invest a ton of money in one yet. Price-wise, a full kit with the camera body, the kit lens, a strap, a memory card, even like a camera bag runs about 700 bucks. Just to put it in perspective, my old point and shoot was like 600 bucks. And then the mirrorless camera that I'm filming on right now, I got a little while ago is like 900 and it's a lot bigger than this guy. And I don't really want to lug that around the park. I will put a link in the description to the Olympus Pen EPL9. There are so many more functionality things that I did not even mention. A great thing to put on your Christmas list, a birthday wish list, and obviously it's good for outside of Disneyland. But I don't know, I just, I love it for Disney because I don't want to wait like 45 minutes to meet Mickey Mouse and then have my photos not be awesome because I want to remember things as good as they looked in person and I want like a nicer photo for that so this camera really delivers. Links down below, check it out, leave me a comment letting me know what color you would get. There is like tan, navy, white, and black and let me know if you would like more photography related videos on my channel. I don't really know what that would be yet but that could be a lot of fun. We'll see you guys next time.